Vertex Pharmaceuticals and Lanza announced a partnership to build a dedicated facility for manufacturing Vertex's cell therapies for type 1 diabetes. The new facility, located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, will be crucial for scaling up the production of Vertex's stem cell-derived islet cell therapies, including VXA80 and VX264. These therapies aim to functionally cure T1D by restoring insulin production. This partnership helps Vertex secure a high-quality, scalable manufacturing process as it progresses through clinical trials and prepares for potential commercialization. It also underscores Vertex's commitment to advancing T1D treatments beyond conventional insulin therapy. VX880, a stem cell-derived islet cell therapy requiring immunosuppression, is currently in clinical trials. Early data have shown promising insulin production and glucose control in patients. VX264, a next-generation therapy using a device to encapsulate islet cells designed to function without immunosuppression. Lanza, a leader in contract development and manufacturing, brings expertise in cell therapy production, ensuring Vertex can scale up its operations efficiently. This facility is key to preparing for regulatory approvals and potential commercialization, reinforcing Vertex's commitment to developing a functional cure for T1D. Construction of the Vertex and Lanza Manufacturing Facility in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, began on August 30, 2023. While an official operational date hasn't been publicly announced, similar large-scale biotech facilities typically take two to three years to complete. Therefore, it's reasonable to anticipate that the facility could be operational by late 2025 or early 2026. This timeline aligns with Lanza's previous projects, such as their drug product manufacturing facility in Stein, Switzerland, which was expected to begin operations approximately three years after its groundbreaking. The 130,000-square-foot facility will support the commercial production of Vertex's type 1 diabetes cell therapy portfolio, including programs like VX880 and VX264. Here is an overview of the production process. 1. Stem cell expansion and differentiation. The process starts with pluripotent stem cells, which can be expanded into bioreactors to generate large quantities of cells. These stem cells undergo a carefully controlled differentiation process to become insulin-producing pancreatic islet cells. This differentiation mimics natural pancreas development, ensuring the cells function similarly to native islets. 2. Cell Purification and Quality Control After differentiation, the islet cells are purified to remove unwanted or undifferentiated cells. Quality control testing ensures the cells meet safety, purity, and potency standards. 3. Encapsulation for VX264 or preparation for transplant for VX880. VX880. The islet cells are prepared for infusion into patients requiring immunosuppression to prevent rejection. VX264. The islet cells are placed inside a protective encapsulation device that shields them from the immune system, potentially eliminating the need for immunosuppression. Before large-scale biomanufacturing, the facility is being designed to scale up production to meet commercial demands. The final cell products will likely be cryopreserved, frozen, to allow for storage, transport, and flexible patient dosing. 5. Final product release and distribution. Before release, each batch undergoes rigorous testing for potency, sterility, and safety. Once approved, the cell therapies are distributed to clinical sites for transplantation into T1D patients. This scalable, good manufacturing practice compliant process will bring Vertex's cell therapies from clinical trials to widespread commercial availability. These exciting developments illustrate the advantages of shared responsibility of various companies to reach the ultimate goal of finding a cure for type 1 diabetes.